it came really early earlier than i expected that's the simple truth because i was actually looking at that the earliest it would come would be april but i was shocked to read that it's coming up by march 11th man i don't even know what to say because that's so early but nevertheless we're gonna do what we have to do that's the simple truth if someone is dedicated to achieving something you would achieve it care work visa is not the only visa that can bring you to the uk yes it might be the easiest um in the sense that a lot of people can come through it but there are still amazing visas out there that can bring you to the united kingdom so we wouldn't dwell on it so much that it has to weigh us down we would look at our other options especially the students because um if you plan on staying back after your studies and you plan on switching to care worker visa this news doesn't it, it doesn't call it doesn't go down well with a lot of students and i really understand i understand where they are coming from because they're already here it's not like they are back home they are here already and they can be able to switch after um march 11th with their dependents but i must say if your dependents can get a job now your dependents can switch with your children and you can join them later after graduation that's the only way march is already here so as much as possible we can really do something about it let's keep pushing and um, let's keep putting in our best there are other job opportunities that can still help you and your dependents remain in the uk like um, the bed coordinator i've made a video regarding that particular position there are other positions there are other amazing positions in healthcare if you want to be in healthcare that can keep you in the uk and you can be able to stay with your family they can switch to the same visa you are in so um it mustn't be a care worker visa because they are specific on the job the kind of job that they don't want people to come in with dependence or they wouldn't want people to switch to but if you're ready on this visa before march 11th you are definitely going to be able to switch your dependents or bring in your dependents if they if they are still back home so hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel my name is ogi do well to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and like this video share to your friends and family put a comment in the comment section about how you feel regarding these um changes because i don't know i don't even know what to say um it's emotionally stressful to a lot of people but we gotta do what we gotta do that's just the truth we can't do otherwise it's their country so they know what's best for the country so guys um today i'll be showing you full details of what the government is saying about this everything they've been talking about regarding changes in the immigration they all now have a date and i'm going to show you in details so that you have this in mind and know the exact date each of these will be taking place it's only going to prepare you and that's it you don't have to panic you only need to coordinate yourself and put in more effort and let's see how it goes definitely i believe it's going to uh, turn out for good that's it if this one what doesn't work another would work as long as you are consistent and do not give up that's all i can say okay so 
let's go to gov.uk and check out these dates so that we have the facts. I'm going to leave the link in the description in case you want to read it on your own so that you read and digest it and understand it better, all right? So this is it on the gov.uk website. Um, Home Secretary underlines commitment to cut net migration. This is really a huge cut down at the temperature. Roll out of new transformative legal migration measures begins with new restriction set to relieve the burden on British taxpayers and public services. Okay. Um, this was published on the 30th of January 2024. Measures to transform the UK legal migration system. Let's check out these points. They include reforms that will restrict care workers from bringing dependents and require care providers to, re to register with the Care Quality Commission if they are sponsoring migrants, which will come in into force on 11th of March. Hmm. 11th of March is here. We just have one month and a, a few days. One month and a few days. That's how the time I'm making this video. So it's not such a long time. But the truth is that if you put your mind to it, especially those that are already in the United Kingdom, if you put your mind to it, there is nothing God cannot do. Okay? I've seen people secure a job get a COS, and even move into the UK in less than one month. I've seen it happen. So I'm not just talking for talking sake. I've seen it happen. So don't lose hope. Meanwhile, keep applying to other countries and other kind of job in the United Kingdom. There are so many kind of visas. There are so many types of visas that can bring you to the UK. Okay? The laying of immigration rules, which include the removal of 20% going rate discounts for occupations on the shortage occupation list on 14th March. This one will be taking effect uh, from 14th of March. A new increase to the minimum salary required for those arriving on the skilled worker visa from, 20, from 26,000 200 pounds to 38,700 pounds on 4th April. So I believe they are doing this particular one to make sure that um, recruiters hire people already in the UK rather than going for people abroad that, um, uh, that they will have to pay more because the increase is much. So they would consider hiring someone already in the UK than going out there to get someone from international and bring them in. And I believe that's why they did this part. Increasing the minimum income requirement threshold in stages for family visas starting at 29,000 from 11th April. So this whole thing is revolving around 11th of March up to 11th April. By 11th April, all of this would have been implemented. Wow. Reforms to court visa came into force at the start of January, ending the ability of nearly um, all postgraduate students to bring dependents to the UK. Students are no longer able to bring in dependents. And it has already started. It took effect from January 1st, 2024. So the measures will crack down on rising migration, help curb the abuse of the health and care visa route, where we have seen people come to the UK for care worker jobs that do not exist or are paid significantly less than the required salary for a migrant, for a migrant worker on this route and ensure British labor is not undercut by overseas workers. So this is something I have been saying in this particular channel. I always say this, do not buy this, do not buy COS. These are the reasons that messed this whole thing up. 
because people felt they can buy anything with money. That's not how it works. Thereby blocking way for people that want to come genuinely. It doesn't make sense. So these are part of the consequences of some of the things we do and we feel we do them because we have the money. Home Secretary James cleverly said, I've been clear that migration is too high and we must get back to the sustainable levels. Last year, I set out robust measures to reduce the numbers coming into our country, tightening the rules on care workers, care workers, skilled workers, and making sure that people can support their family members that they bring over. It is firm approach, but a fair one, and gives those affected time to prepare whilst ensuring that migration comes down. Wow. The British people want to see action, not words. We are delivering the change we promised and which they expect, lifting pressure on public services and protecting British workers with the utmost urgency. Our comprehensive plan to tackle net migration will not only bring numbers down substantially, but also tackle the inherent, um, inherent unfairness of the system which, if left untouched, will reward employers seeking to recruit cheap labor, cheap labor from overseas at the expense of the British worker. Delivering change on this scale and at such pace is hard and challenging, and challenging work, but we are making strong headway. With further improvements to modernize and enhance the security of the UK uh, border, Continuing throughout 2024. We are grateful to oversee care workers' boards and clear that immigration is not the last law, is not the long-term answer to our social care needs. That's why, alongside tightening visa rules, we are reforming social care careers to boost our homegrown care workforce. They've talked about it. They've already mapped out some money that they are going to invest in care. Let's see how it goes. We have launched the first ever national career uh, path for care workers, and a new care qualification is on the way. These reforms, together with international recruitment under the new rules, will build on the progress made over the last year of lower staff turnover fewer vacancies and more people working in social care. So from April, 4th of April, the increase to the minimum salary required for those arriving on the skilled worker visa would be increased from 26,200 to 38,700. It will come into force. So this 48% uh, rise will drive down numbers. You see, reduce pressure on public services and prevent the undercutting of British workers by employers who look to recruit cheap labor for overseas. So guys, I'm going to leave the link of this in the description. They even talked about the health, immigration health surcharge that will be raised by 66% to um, 1,000, 1,035 pounds. So it's taking effect to in February. The new rate reflects increases in health care expenditure and better reflects the NHS used by migrants who are provided with near comprehensive access to health services in return. So that's just it. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to leave the link in the description. Do well to click on it and um, um, do your best to read it well if you feel you don't understand it. I hope this video was of great help to you. Make sure you subscribe and click on the like button. I will really appreciate it. Do put a comment in this comment section and tell me how you feel about this whole thing going on. So, I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, bye.